Where our lot is located requires a two-phase approval process with public jurisdictions. The first stop is City Hall. Since it is within the city limits, the city has to give their approval, their blessing, on what you're going to build, where you're going to build it, how it complies with the rules and policies and regulations and public utility access and all of those things. And you pay the fees and you understand what it is that they're insisting on and you make your drawings reflect that and then they will give you the approval that you need to go to the county and interface with the actual building permit experts. That means it goes through plan review. They have qualified people on staff to look over the drawings, look over the supporting calculations from the structural engineers and geotechnical engineers. And, uh, we work with Scott Harvey all the time. And sort of make permanent and go on record as saying, yes, we think this will work with the following restrictions or additions or alterations, and they will put those on your plans in red so nobody can miss them. And then those are the plans that are used through the inspection process. The county also retains and schedules and follows through on all of the inspections, keeping a permanent record, and they will be the ones who will be able to say to the bank when the house is being built, we are ready to issue a certificate of occupancy, therefore, Mr. Lender, therefore, Mr. Insurance Company, you can be confident that the project that you are underwriting for decades has been built in compliance with the plans that we approved and the building codes as we interpret it. It's a very annoying process. It's an infringe infringement on freedom. But I can see in rational moments that it plays a fairly important role in a world that depends on mortgages, title insurance, homeowners insurance, all of these things that have to have some basis for believing that the structure is going to last. A building inspector's job is to ensure compliance between the work you're producing and the plans you're working off of. They come out and you have a copy of those drawings that they look at and compare the drawings, the notes, the spacings, the size of the rebar, the location, the clearance to the dirt, all of it to what they see you're building. Their job is not to reinterpret the drawing or make accommodations for your work. Think of it like an open book test. You are doing some work and you know what it's supposed to look like, so clearly it's not in your interest to do it in any other fashion. Yes, building inspectors cause frustration. Yes, they can slow down jobs. Yes, sometimes they can be unreasonable human beings just like me and like you, but they do have a job to do and if you understand what their job is, your interaction with them is going to be much more productive. Building permit job location card, inspection line phone numbers, building permit numbers, address. It's taken about three weeks to get this. And they've been intense weeks for me because I had, I had to go ahead and open up the site and do the digging because of Brian Reynolds' availability. Based on the recommendation, the uh, specifications of the engineer, but without having the approval of the city and the county in hand. I just had to do it. Those choices were mine. But I was very vulnerable to how quickly, how effectively they would run me through their uh, um, permit approval process and any changes or site conditions that they would insist on changing or modifying. But today, about an hour and a half ago actually, I got this beautiful thing. That feels great. And then the rest of the story is, in this packet, which includes an inspection record card that each inspector signs off on whatever particular phase of the project he's inspecting. A little pamphlet that gives the codes. It's a phone, it's a phone um, system where you call in and give a code for what it is you need to have inspected. But the big thing is these plans and calculations which they accepted as drawn, as specified by Scott Harvey. So at the moment I picked these up this afternoon, I was so glad that I had used Scott because his calculations were accurate, his assessment of the site was good, they were used to working with him. We're in business.